Greetings from your friendly neighborhood crystal lady. In my last video, we were talking about dogmatic principles, which are things that are not necessarily scientifically or universally based truths, but they are somebody's truth. So I never, ever, ever say that they're wrong, but I do like to clarify because these dogmatic principles cause a lot of confusion. The number one question I get asked almost on a daily basis in this umbrella realm of dogmatic questions is, do you cleanse your stones and how do you cleanse your stones? I don't. <gasps> you don't cleanse your stones? What? Wait, why? Okay, here's the thing. You don't have to cleanse your stones. And the reason why crystals work so well for us in the first place is because their molecular structure keeps their energy stable. Unlike us, we're not stable. <laughs> That's not to say that the crystal's energy cannot be influenced or changed in some way, because it can be. But in order to change a crystal's energy, energy, first off, one, it's only temporary, and two, you need to introduce a higher amplitude of energy to that crystal to change its energy. A very simple example of how you can change a crystal's energy is by dropping it with enough force that it makes the molecules a little wonky. I like to compare it to imagine yourself hmm, reading a book, zoning out, chilling out, minding your own business, and somebody sneaks up on you and you're like, ha ha ha. You don't stay ha 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 forever. No, you eventually calm down. Same thing with the crystal energy, it eventually resets itself. That being said, it takes a lot to contaminate, contaminate crystal's energy. And again, it's only temporary. However, what happens is, let's look at some crystals and, and I will show you what I'm talking about. Let's pretend this pile of various moonstones are your crystals and your friend comes over and they're in a crappy mood and they're like, look at you dumb rocks. You might be thinking, oh, you just got all your neggy vibes on my precious babies. No, they didn't. <laughs> they, it doesn't work like that. But what they did do is they contaminated your perception of the stones. And since it was your perception that has been tainted, by all means, feel free to do a ritual to cleanse your stones whatever ritual you are drawn to, because it is your energy, your perception, your energy that needs to shift, not the energy of the stones. And remember, the universe is responding to your energy. You're the point of attraction, not the crystals themselves. They're just the tools to help you focus your energy so you can feel the way you intend to feel and therefore attract the way you would like to attract. If you liked this video, please interact with all the buttons. If you aren't already, give me a follow. I would appreciate it ever so much. And I'll see you in the next video when we talk about another dogmatic principle. And that is charging your stones. Love you, bye.